Tokyo, the city with the biggest population in the world, a global leader in robotics and automation. From lightning fast bullet trains to intelligent toilets and any vending machine your heart could desire. Japan has some advanced technology. Today, on our first full day exploring Tokyo, we are taking things up a level. We're letting an artificial intelligence robot decide our whole day. Will it take us to some of the most famous sites of Tokyo, help us find some hidden gems, or will we end up somewhere that doesn't actually exist? I don't know what to do. It doesn't make any sense. Let's find out. Good morning from a very dry and beautiful and calm Akasaka here in Tokyo, Japan. Today, we're gonna to be using ChatGPT to decide what we do all day long. Now, if you don't know what ChatGPT is, it's an artificial intelligence chatbot that you can ask it to do pretty much anything. You can ask it for a cake recipe, you can ask it to write some HTML code, or you can even ask it to write you a poem in a language that you don't even speak. The first order of the day is obviously going to be breakfast. We're gonna first say who we are because I want them to specify who's eating what. We are Adriana and Dolan. We want to buy some breakfast in a Japanese 7-Eleven, Lawson's or Family Mart shop in Tokyo, Japan. Which one should we go to and what should we buy? Please include a drink each. And just to be safe, we've said Adriana does not eat meat. <laughs> I'm having onigiri with seaweed. And then inari sushi, a salad. This constitutes as a salad, right? Yeah. And a drink. And the green tea definitely looks like green tea to me. So I'm having an onigiri, kirinameyo, tamagoyaki. Do you have a tamagoyaki? No. This is the closest thing. Sandwich, have to go with an egg sandwich, a coffee. Caramel latte. I don't know how the rest of the questions today are gonna go. If that's what we're getting by a very specific question that I asked it, I thought it was just gonna give one option and a drink, to be honest. I'm gonna be so full. All right, let's uh, let's go buy some food. Let's do it. This is gonna be more challenging than we thought. We had to go to two different Lawson's just to find all the food we needed. And that's just a start. Anyway, time to eat some breakfast. Mm. I have to assemble mine, so I'm probably gonna mess this up. Oh no, don't break on me. Oh no. Mm. Seaweed is just crispy and fresh. Five types of green vegetables. Oh, that's pretty good too. The egg sandwich. It's not like any egg sandwich I've ever tasted. Quite salty but sweet at the same time. <laughs> Very mild. It's like sauce all up in the omelet, all up in the rice. Wow. Straight up green tea. They sell it hot. Isn't that crazy? It's in a plastic bottle and it's nice and heated up. Caramel latte. Wow, that is really sweet. It's time for another question. This time, we're gonna ask it where to go next. And we've actually narrowed it down a little bit this time and asked it for just one answer. Just one, please. Meiji Shrine is a Shinto shrine in Shibuya, central Tokyo. Fantastic, let's go. Easy. Apparently, these are actual barrels of sake that are offered here every single year for the deities that are enshrined here, which was Emperor Meiji and his Empress. How cool is that? It's very nice. We haven't even gotten to the main shrine yet, but there's loads of these huge gates that you walk through. And everyone seems to be bowing when you're walking through, so I'm gonna bow. Probably bow quite low, but I don't want to be disrespectful or seeming like I'm making fun of something either. So find a nice mid ground of bowing. Yeah. <laughs> this Meiji shrine is actually located inside a forest which is called Yoyogi Park, and it is about 134 acres of forest. It's got over 100,000 donated trees from all over Japan and from outside of Japan. It's very beautiful and serene here, I have to say. It's very structured, even though there's a lot of people around. This shrine was established in 1920 and it's a very popular destination for Shinto weddings as well. And those three facts were actually all done from ChatGPT. We're not gonna go for lunch. 
just yet because we've had a really big breakfast. So I think we're gonna skip lunch and maybe go for a little dessert. So we're gonna ask ChatGPT. We want to eat desserts in central Tokyo. Please provide a popular dessert in the Shibuya area, which is where we are right now. Tell us a location where we can buy it. Please only provide one option. So he recommends trying Shibuya honey toast. Shibuya toast is a Japanese dessert made up of fluffy white bread, lightly toasted and honey coated. It's apparently quite life changing. ChatGPT sent us on a proper quest for this one. Do you have a Shibuya toast in here? No. No? We are right next door to Celine, Gucci, Dior. And then this place has the longest queue in the world, it seems like. But they also don't have Shibuya toast. So. Let's find somewhere else. Yeah, should we ask Mr. Robot for something else? Another place? Yeah. That one didn't have. Uh, Shibuya toast, please. I always say please, <laughs> say please to a robot. I don't know why. <laughs> please um, provide me another location near here that does sell Shibuya toast. I apologize for the confusion. Another location where you can enjoy Shibuya honey toast is at Afternoon Tea Tea Room in the Shibuya Scramble Square building doesn't make any sense. I don't know what to do. The address is completely different. Can I please have a location where I can eat Shibuya toast. Thank you. I apologize for any confusion earlier. A popular location in the Shibuya area where you can enjoy Shibuya honey toast is eggs and things. Shibuya. That, I mean, that sounds like it would do eggs and things. It's not on their specials menu and it's not on their regular menu either. Pasela Resort Shibuya. It's a karaoke slash restaurant <laughs> that has a number of stores across the country. It's Shibuya store is believed to be an inventor of Shibuya okay. honey toasts. We have okay, to go there. though we have to go there. Is it open? Yeah, it closes at 5 a.m. Okay, <laughs> let's go. Subscribe. Did you hear what he said? Who? The turtle? No. He said subscribe. Oh. <laughs> Is this it? I don't know. I don't know if it's oh, down. Yeah. Oh. If we want to eat something, can we do that here? Or also singing? <laughs> oh. Do you have a reservation? No. Uh, so we Fully booked? Right now. Oh, okay. Even just to eat? We don't have a restaurant. Okay. Oh, so sing and uh, eat. Ah, uh, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so it wasn't a restaurant or karaoke, it's a restaurant and karaoke and it's fully booked. And now I'm more determined than ever to find this Shibuya toast. I'm gonna go back on the phone. We found one last place, it's coming up on pretty much every blog about Shibuya toast slash honey toast. And it's in Akihabara, which is about half an hour, 40 minutes away from here. I'm booking a table now. Just to make sure. Just to make sure. But the table booking is not for another two hours. Yeah. Which gives us enough time to get there and then find an activity to do in that area. By ChatGPT. By ChatGPT. We're back now at the world famous Shibuya Crossing. The last time we were here, it was pouring with rain, so we couldn't really see anything because everyone had umbrellas. A lot of people just stop in the middle to take photos. <laughs> We've got another hour until our booking, but we're now in Akihabara, which is known for their anime shops, electronic shops. I can see already there's loads of lights. It looks very, very crazy, yeah. I don't think it'll be difficult to spend an hour here. All right, let's find out what there is to do here in Akihabara. What is there to do in Akihabara, explore the electronic stores, shop for anime and manga, visiting gaming arcades. Yes! Oh. That's the winner. This way. We can win a cup noodle. I mean, that would be a solid dinner, but we are going to a cafe in a moment. Oh, the arcades are that way. <laughs> I can see the flashing lights. Turns out we weren't allowed to film in here with our main camera, but it was a big win for ChatGBT as we had a lot of fun and even won some Japanese sweets, which we obviously have to try, even though our reservation is in a couple of minutes. They, oh, look how cute! Look at that! Mmm. But I'm glad. Whoa. Yeah. You're blowing him! 
I think I just breathed some of that in. Time to see if this Shibuya toast is worth the trip. There it is. There's the honey toast. It says honey. We made it, guys. We made it. Oh, can I get that? <laughs> no. Oh. Oh. My. Oh, that's massive. We actually ordered two, and then we said to the guy, are they big or are they small? Should we just have one? And he was like, I changed it for you. <laughs> Jesus we did. Christ. Usually, I think, it's the toast and butter and cream and ice cream. This one, caramel. <laughs> that's so good. Oh, whoa. Oh, that cream is insane. Just, wow. That is oh. amazing. And there's like a hint of honey. And the toast is so crunchy. Like... That cream is so thick. Oh. And they've cut it into cubes for you. That is... Mm. Perfection, I think. Shibuya toast. 10 out of 10. This was so delicious. Let's ask ChatGPT our next question of the day. Get the good old laptop out again. What neighborhood can we go in central Tokyo in the evening for a cool vibe? That's not Aki Habara. I recommend visiting Shimokitazawa, a trendy and vibrant neighborhood located just a short train ride from central Tokyo. Let's see what it's like. Just walked out of the train station and everything's lit up. It's quite cute. Looks like there's a few restaurants already around here. So I think have a little look around and then see if we can find something to eat again. Next up, Chat GBT made it pretty clear we should have some sushi. really come to Japan and not have sushi. Basically in these restaurants you have a conveyor belt going around with sushi on it but also you've got an iPad right in front of you where you can choose what you want to order. You can order salmon, you can order corn, corn. you can order beers, cheers, or there's green tea yeah, you at get the table. Free, like a little pot of powder of matcha and you can just, and there's a tap literally brings out hot water and you can just make your own matcha. So is it worth using an artificial intelligence chatbot to plan out your day in Tokyo? Probably not. No, I would advise against it. Not because it's not given us good information, but it doesn't feel very up to date and it cannot read between the lines. I feel like if a human had planned this, yeah. we would have got the right place at the right time. Because we wasted <laughs> two or three hours looking for that honey toast. Yeah, uh, but it was end, worth it. It was worth it. We're gonna enjoy the sushi. Cheers. Cheers. Bye. Bye. Oh, it's a 7 Eleven right there. We're not allowed to go to 7 Eleven. No, but. Oh, you mean another Lawson's? Yeah. Should have bowed lower. Right. From lightning fast bullet trains. From lightning fast bullet trains. Take three. From light. From lightning fast bullet trains. From lightning fast bullet trains. <laughs> ah! <laughs> it's hot. Ah, it's really hot. <laughs> 